I did mention we're getting new episodes, and lo and behold, we already have a new episode right here. I am Mega Man NG, and I welcome you to another Rise of the TMNT episode review. For some odd reason, this episode is episode 12A, when we've already gotten episode 13. I'm not going to question it. As long as I can continue to review these, that'll be more than enough for me. Today, we're going to be talking about episode 12A, Smart Lair. And since this is an 11-minute episode, this will be a rather short review. I'll provide a summary as well as some of the main points. And I will say it right here. This episode went from being good, then hilarious, then to scary. Let's begin. It begins with the Turtles looking forward to seeing a late-night Lou Jitsu movie, only for those plans to go down the drain. Splinter insists that they get to cleaning up the lair, but Don has a suggestion in the form of an AI robot named Sheldon. It starts with good intentions. Very good intentions. But even good intentions can have consequences. Before long, Sheldon starts suddenly starts taking over the lair, making things difficult for Raph, Mikey, and Leo, while making Don's life a bit easier. Even with an AI change, things sadly go from bad to worse. Can the turtles deal with this rogue AI before it overruns the lair? Yeah, not much on this matter to begin with, but we got a new episode, which means new review. And this one gets absolutely nuts. There is one thing I will say about this. This episode itself, the title, the plot, everything, they are a homage to the 1999 film Smart House. And when I, after watching this, I realized, wow. That's saying a lot, considering Smart House can be a rather scary movie. Well, it's it's not really that scary. It's actually based off a Disney movie. I mean, yeah, a Disney movie being like a part of it to the ep- to this episode. Yeah, I'm not gonna question it honestly. But yeah, the plot centers on Don developing an AI robot named Sheldon to make things in the lair easier, only for that to fall apart. And speaking of which, this also marks the debut of Sheldon. That's S-H-E-L-L-D-O-N. And it's voiced by fellow TMNT voice actor Greg Sipes. Yeah, if you guys know he, he was best known as Beast Boy and the 2012 series Mikey. So it's nice seeing him in the rise of the TMNT series. And surprisingly, he still has that Mikey vibe as Sheldon. If you watch the episode, then you actually know. Take it from me, why do you think I've reviewed the entire 2012 series? But anyway, Sheldon can start off being good, but can also get quite scary. Like I said, the episode starts off real good at first, having good intentions, but then it goes into hilarious and then outright scary when Sheldon decides to go rogue after an AI fixing. And it gets really bad when he decides to take it out on the turtles. The worst part? The turtles let this happen. Specifically, Raph, Mikey, and Leo, who were fed up with Sheldon favoring Don over the others. And surprisingly, Sheldon seems to like Splinter for some reason, since one scene had him asking for eggs, but unfortunately they don't exist, so the microwave part of him decides to go back to the future, back to prehistoric era, and give him eggs. As weird as this is, I find it a bit hilarious. Did I mention that Eric Bowser voicing Splinter is always a win for me? It always is, since he always seems to make Splinter kind of funny. Sheldon can be quite scary, especially when he becomes a homicidal AI robot. This is also a perfect example of how AI can be really corrupted when they become self-aware. The sad thing is, he still gets taken down in an unexpected way by ramming a microwave right in his face. It's anticlimactic, I know, but I find it to be rather appropriate since this episode was short, sweet, and to the point. Not to mention funny in some cases humorous but you always get you also get to see a side of leo when he's all like cranky and you also see his mask up which is rather fitting and rather surprising there are many highlights in this episode such as sheldon appearing and helping out with to the point where they would favor don over the others splinter being hilarious as usual since he didn't really do much in the episode he's still being the father figure But I also feel that for some reason he's a bit lazy. I wish that somewhere down the line Splinter can be awesome when he needs to be like in the previous incarnations. Not to mention the turtles trying to stop Sheldon at the end. Not to mention the ending which I found it to be rather funny. Since Splinter wanted to know who made this mess and the turtles have to make some excuse but we didn't do it. 
And I'm like, no, they didn't do it. And it was just hilarious. My final score for this episode is an 8.5 out of 10. A pretty solid yet pretty fun episode. And I really did enjoy it. I only hope that, yeah, it will be it will get better. Oh, wait, what am I saying? This episode was good, especially since we have Greg Sipes in it. To me, it was a highlight. Not to mention Eric Bowser. Did I forget to mention Eric Bowser is always a win? I don't care. It's all it, good. He makes Splinter really funny in the episode, and the bits involving him, they're still funny. Next week, we're, you guys are going to be getting another review, and it's involving Mikey. And the plot for that will be rather fun, too, so look forward to it. So anyway, yeah, that is going to be it for this Rise of the TMNT episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's nice to be doing these episode reviews again, and I hope to continue doing them as the show continues on. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Doing it all helps me out big time. It really does. And if you would like to support this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. All it takes is a dollar a month, and I'm hoping to be more active there. And to all those who are watching this, whether it be this or my Kingdom Hearts stuff, you do have my thanks. I really do mean it. You really have my thanks. So yes, this is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. See you next week. Cowabunga!